two young lives, two families with difficult stories to tell. I'm Sarah Fitcher, I'm mum to Ben and Sam, my twins. My name is Kim and my daughter is Georgia. Ben was a fun-loving, caring, happy-go-lucky child. Fantastic sense of humour, life and soul of every party. She was full of life. She was um, a great kid. She had lots of friends and she would have parties at home. Um, was she happy? She was, she was very happy. <laughs> For Georgia, there was all the appearance of a normal, balanced life. For Ben too, no thought of how desperate things would become. Ben went off to do his paper round, I waved him goodbye, we said we loved each other and off he went and I didn't think anything of it. He was late and on, I can't remember what attempt it was to ring his telephone, um, somebody answered it that was clearly not Ben and I was, Ben it's me, it's mum and they kept saying who is it and I was like it's mum, that's Ben's phone, why have you got Ben's phone? She's the first child from our family to actually go to university and everything seemed to be going so well and I was relaxed thinking she's she's there she's doing it she's doing the dream and she's you know perfectly happy until I had a phone call. The two officers turned up on the door and and I knew straight away that he wasn't alive. What, what had happened to him? We were told that he, he had died on the motorway um, and that was the day our lives changed forever. Teenage suicides are rising. This week, the government said it wants to reduce the stigma of mental health problems, get more support into schools to young people who desperately need it. And I just got in the car and I drove up there and I just felt sick. The whole journey I felt sick. I didn't know what was going on, what happened. Um, I just wanted to see my daughter. You always over worry. Georgia survived. She'd managed to call the Samaritans for help. Her life saved, but painful memories. I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to feel the hurt and the pain that nobody else could see. And that's when I thought that it would all stop, it would be over if I managed to take my own life. Did, did you try to take your own life, Georgia? Yes, I did. For Georgia and her mum, there is now plenty to look forward to. She has a home, a career, a future. That was a really difficult time in my life. I've learnt so much from it and it's made me the person I am today. But I am so grateful to be here on this land having a really good time. But for Ben's family, it's all about memories and unanswerable questions for a 14-year-old who took his own life without warning. Why did you not reach out to us? Sorry. <laughs> Just definitely why. <laughs> and that I love you. Sorry. <laughs> it, it's just not knowing. That's the hardest part. And, and definitely why. Ben's mum knows the pain of losing a child. Now she's working with the Papyrus Charity to tell his story, raise awareness, work to prevent more young lives being lost to suicide. Jeremy Cook, BBC News.